What's up, guys? You know, on this channel, uh, definitely with it being a conservative channel, we always promote police officers on this channel because they do have a inherently dangerous job. You know what I'm saying? And they can get called to a, a variety of different situations, you know, where sometimes they'll have to use daily force to uh, protect their own lives and the lives of the public. So definitely we acknowledge and we respect police officers um, who risk their lives every day to, to keep the public safe. But I have a video for you guys where a drive-by shooting unfolds right in front of a police officer. And instead of the police officer engaging to eliminate the threat, the police officer runs away. And I got mixed feelings about this one, guys. I'm going to show you guys a clip, and you guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below. But before we get into the video, if this is your first time here, and you like conservative content, you love your country, you believe in your police, and you believe in your military, make sure you hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification button so you get notified every time I make a video. Let's get into it. I talked with a number of officers about this incident and simply said it is not sitting well with them. The two officers in question are off the street. The men involved in that shooting still on it. A Detroit cop has suspended another on medical leave after apparently fleeing the scene of a shooting that unfolded right in front of them. Sources tell me it happened near Schoolcraft in Greenfield back on June 30th. This incident is troubling uh, and it is unfortunate and it's not consistent with our training. It's also not consistent with the expectations that are set uh, by myself and my command team. Interim Police Chief James White addressing the officer's response or lack thereof during a press conference Friday. The victim, seen here in the blue shirt, was struck but survived. A sedan pulled up in front of him. A man in the back seat hung outside the window and opened fire with the semi-automatic rifle. All of it captured on police dash cam. The officers drove off, but at some point turned back around to help the victim. The gunman and driver got away. What I'm looking to understand uh, is prior to leaving the scene and returning to provide the assistance, uh, what was the state of mind of the officer? What did they think they were doing? I need to know uh, a lot of things that I don't want to discuss right now, uh, but it has to do with the, if they were secure enough to take immediate action. What could they have done in that moment? Could they have uh, drawn and engaged them with- Oh, absolutely. Yes, you pull your gun. He's shooting at somebody. You pull your gun when you're in fear of your life, or someone else in fear of their life. Retired Detroit Assistant Police Chief Steve Dolan tells me the officers in question did not come clean about what happened. It appears they're hiding something at first, because again, it, was, it came to light through a routine investigation of the cameras and the supervisor said, hey, wait a minute. So it wasn't reported to them right away. That supervisor sent it up the chain, prompting an investigation and the immediate suspension of the female officer who was behind the wheel. And I think what's disconcerting probably for citizens is, you know, and I don't want to generalize. However, we see a lot of instances where unarmed individuals are given a hard time by the police. and police say they fear for their lives. Well, this was an actual shooting in progress that the officers witnessed and they didn't engage the threat. Former Detroit Police Chief Ralph Godby says cops are supposed to be the people who run to danger, not away from it. Do we get hired to die? No, but we do understand that there's a risk inherent with what we do. Uh, but that risk uh, is for the greater good of society. Individualized incidents do not represent the hard work of the over 2,000 men and women of this department that they do day in and day out. Chief White says he's waiting for the officer that's on medical leave to get back to work before they wrap up this investigation and make a decision on both of their futures with DPD. I'm Randy Wembley, and this is The Edge. All right, guys, so you saw that. So it's two things that I noticed from the police officer's actions um, that night, just based off of the dash cam footage that we saw. Um, the first thing is the obvious, right? They, the police officers, they watched the drive-by shooting unfold right in front of them, and they did not engage the criminals. They did not engage the uh, assailants. Um, they ran away. But I also noticed, guys, that they came back. They came back and they rendered aid to the individual who got shot. So I'm curious as to 
what was the police report? I mean, you know, how did they call it in? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Did they did they call it? Hey, we got one shot. How did the police officers explain um, the individual um, who they were rendering aid to his condition? How did they how did they explain that? You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure they didn't put in their report. We ran away and then we came back to assist uh, a victim from a, of a job of a drive by shooting. You know what I mean? And then another thing. Um, one of the guys that you saw in the clip who was being interviewed by the reporter said that the only reason that this, this incident came about was uh, through random chance, just through a routine, um, a routine inspection of the dash cam footage. So the officers, they had no intention of reporting what they did because they knew that they were wrong. You know, they were trying to hide it. You know, they knew that running away was not, uh, was not the right thing to do. They knew that per their training, they were probably supposed to get out and engage those individuals who were doing a drive-by shooting. Um, and guys, this, this is the thing. Some people, you know, I'm not taking the actions of this one officer and making a general statement across all officers, all female officers in the country, right? This is just something that some people, they get into these career fields where they don't belong. Some people just aren't meant to be police officers. You know what I mean? Some people, they're, they're just looking for a career. Um, obviously, we don't know what the police side of the story is, but just based off of their actions and how they fled the scene, uh, um, it just shows that they're not meant to be a cop. You know what I mean? They don't have a battle spirit. They don't have, uh, uh, they don't want to uh, engage in conflict. You know what I mean? Even when they're caught uh, by surprise. You know what I mean? Um, and this is the only incident that this is this is that we've seen. Um, there was another incident where a police officer was called to a domestic dispute, and a male individual uh, grabbed a firearm and he he began to approach the officer. The officer turned his back and ran back down the stairs and ran out of the apartment building. Left the female victim up there with with her abusive boyfriend or husband or whoever it is. And um, you know some people they're just not meant to be cops. Um, I don't think that I can blame this on defunding the police or the, the rhetoric that uh, the anti-police rhetoric that's pushed by the left. Um, that may have something to do with it, but just from the dash cam footage that I saw and the other video that you guys may have seen where the police officer fled the domestic dispute, I just think some people just aren't meant to be cops. You know what I mean? Um, it's unfortunate, you know, that the crime is so rampant in a lot of these Democrat-ran cities. You know what I mean? And maybe the anti-police rhetoric, like I said, does have something to do with why those police officers fled. But I mean, you just look at the dash cam footage. I mean, these police officers are trying, it's almost like they're trying to run for their life. And it should be the opposite. You know what I mean? The public are the ones that's running from danger. Police officers are running toward danger. So I'm just interested to see what the police officers have to say for themselves. I want to follow this story very closely, but just, you know, my two cents, I think the police officers were wrong. They were out of line. And um, if it comes down to it and the investigation reveals that these police officers on the scene who fled the drive-by shooting were just negligent, then absolutely they should be fired. And guys, quite frankly, I think that they should lose the right to be a police officer altogether. Any police officer who turns their back, now retreating to get some cover to return fire and you're staying in the fight, that's one thing. It's another thing to just completely leave the scene and you're just gone. You know what I mean? You're running from, you're running away from the enemy. I mean, any police officer like that shouldn't be a police officer. Uh, anybody who's done something like that as a police officer, I think they should lose their rights to continue policing um, in America, because it's, it's, a, it's a it's a it's definitely as a public citizen as a as a public citizen. I mean, you should feel very unsafe. I mean, because if who's going to respond to these threats? If police officers and these are just I only I've only seen two videos, but if this becomes a pattern, who's going to? Uh, engage these violent criminals that aren't afraid to go to prison. You know what I mean? Who's going to deal with those uh, violent uh, male or female uh, spouse members 
um, in domestic disputes. Who's going to deal with that? If police officers are running away every time the situation gets a little hairy or things go south. You know what I mean? That's what the police are there for, to restore order. So, you know, we respect police on this channel, absolutely. But what I don't respect is someone who turns their back to the enemy. I can't respect cowardice in any way. That's just my two cents, guys. I could be wrong about it, but I don't think I am. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section box below. Do you think that what the police officers did um, behind the wheel of the cruiser, uh, the police officers who witnessed the drive-by shooting, do you think that that police officer did the right thing by fleeing and then returning to render aid to the victim? Personally, I don't think so because the drive-by shooting, who's to say it was going to end there? What if those uh, shooters were to get out of their vehicle and make sure the job is done? You know what I mean? Now they're outside the vehicle, standing over the victim, about to execute him. Where's the police then? Are the police going to engage these criminals at all? And more, uh, more importantly, guys, is... This sends a message to criminals that it's okay to commit crime. It's okay. It, 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 you know, po the police are more afraid of you than you are of them. You know what I mean? And, and, and the, I do believe that that's something that could come from the defund the police rhetoric and the uh, anti-police rhetoric from the left is that if you engage a criminal with deadly force, even when it's necessary, we're still going to prosecute you to the full extent of the law. I don't agree with that. I do think that that discourages police officers from doing their job. But at the same time, when it's a black and white situation where someone is um, within seconds of losing their life, I think that police officers should act. Um, and regardless of, you know, what the media, how they might spin it or how the public might take it. I mean, it's the police officer's job. Um, to protect the public and that's why it's very important for people who support the police to speak out and encourage police officers to do their job make sure you like this video make sure you share this video make sure you subscribe to this channel for more conservative content see you on the next one guys